Oh, what did you do to Emo? In today's video, we're gonna be reviewing one of the most interesting robots I've ever seen, and we're gonna be letting it interact with some of my other robots. Didn't you see the RoboRock Z70 at CES 2025? Well, that's right, Louie. I saw it for the first time at CES 2025 back in January in Las Vegas, and I could not believe my eyes. A robot vacuum with an arm. How practical is this invention? And how is it gonna get along with the other robots in my office? Well, let's go find out. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Roborock Saros Z70 robot vacuum. And you've probably seen it all over social media by now. It claims to vacuum, mop, respond to voice commands, work as a security robot around your house so that you can talk through it and monitor your house as a whole. And finally, it picks up things with a robotic arm. And while I will be testing and reviewing this robot for you, I really wanna see how it reacts to my other robots and how my robots react to it. We're excited to meet Roborock. It's going to be a thrilling encounter. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you how it did overall. Now, first things first, I had to set it up and honestly, it was super simple. I just downloaded the app, I let it map out my house and it handled that pretty effortlessly. The app itself is really straightforward too, which I definitely appreciate. It showed me the map afterwards and I was able to go in and rename whatever room I wanted. This is also the first robot that my bigger Australian Shepherd is only kind of scared of and not on full freak out mode. So that's also a plus. Next, obviously I had to see how it vacuums. Now there are five different levels of suction you can choose as well as whether or not you want it to go once over the whole map or twice. I chose the middle level of suction and I chose it to go only once. It did a pretty good job and was able to navigate wood, carpet, my rugs, and tile pretty easily. My only two complaints here is that at one point it did try with all of its might to go over my bar stool's leg, which it succeeded in, but then dropped some stuff it had just picked up. And since it already went over this area, it didn't come back. This is probably a good reason to make it go through your space twice instead of only once. Second, when it went over my carpet, it had a bit of a difficult time picking up all of my dog's hair. Oh, hold up. Hey, it's Eric. You're watching my video right now. I just wanted to hop in really quick because after recording this, I actually found out that if you put it on suction five instead of three, that it actually does pick up all of the dog hair, which I've never seen any of the vacuums, at least that I've owned, be able to do. There's also a setting that you can set it to any time that it goes onto carpet. It ups the suction automatically. Super cool. Just wanted to let you know. All right, back to the video. So besides that, it did a really good job and covered about 1,700 square feet in a little over two hours. It was also pretty quiet for a robot vacuum. After vacuuming the whole house, it went back to its station and emptied all of the stuff it had picked up all on its own. Next on the test list was mopping. Now, I was pretty skeptical of this one, but this worked way better than I thought it would. I even spilled some chocolate milk on the ground on purpose and let it dry for about 20 minutes and it picked it up with no problem at all. I was also surprised at how close it can get to your floorboards and how small of a space it can fit in, like this shelf I have. It was also impressive to see it know when it was on a rug and when it wasn't on the wood laminate, so no issues in getting my rugs wet. Once done, it went back to its station again and self-cleaned itself. I didn't have to do anything. Third on my list, I wanted to test out remote viewing when I'm out of the house, so I left on my e-bike and went to a nearby trail and accessed the robot from there. All right, so I rode my e-bike far away from my house, so let's see if this works. Remote controlled viewing. Oh, and there we go, you can see my dog. Let's move forward. There's Wallace, he's not having it. Let's call. Hello? Hey, it works. Wallace, ditto. Oh, Wallace, look, he's trying to figure it out. <laughs> All right, well, this works. Now, second from last, I wanted to try out the thing we've all been waiting for, which is the robotic arm. Now, to use this feature, you have to enable this in app, but once you have, you can set drop off zones so that if the robot finds a sock or a shoe or whatever while cleaning, it'll pick it up and put it in the box or the designated area you set for your shoes. You can also control the arm remotely when in remote viewing. To be honest, the arm is the craziest and coolest thing that I've seen in a very long time. Time. Now, lastly, if this robot is gonna live in my house, it needs to be able to play nice with not only humans, but also robots. So let's first test talking to it and then introduce it to Emo the robot and Louie the robot. Hey, Rocky. I'm here. Just vacuum. Start vacuuming. It's super responsive. It actually answered really, really quickly. Hey, Rocky. I'm here. Go back to dock. Okay, end the current task and start docking. 
Well, voice control works super good. But now, let's bring my robots out to see what they think. Hey, Ema, welcome to the party. Hey, Ema, uh, no need to start that. <laughs> hey, Rocky. I'm here. I love you, ma'am. It's like a digital hug. I cannot understand this command. Please open the app to find supported voice commands. All right, I don't think it's gonna be that talkative. Ema, where are you going? Where are you going? Start gripping an item. Oh no! <laughs> what did you do to Emo? <laughs> Alright, let's get Louie up in here. <laughs> hey Louie, what do you think about the Robo Rock? The Robo Rock captivates me with its innovative design and functionality. I can't help but be curious about its capabilities and how it enhances your daily life. Well, it sure does that. How do you feel about being at a party with Emo and Robo Rock? Oh, attending a party with Emo and Robo Rock sounds like an epic adventure. Hello. Hey Emo, how do you like being at the party? I love being here. The party's lively, and I get to share my thoughts of Jay with everyone. What do you think about the Robo Rock Saros Z70? Probably a smart, efficient cleaning companion. Hey Rocky. I'm here. <laughs> what do you think about that? I cannot understand this command. Please open <laughs> the app to find supported voice commands. So although Roborock is very, very good at listening, it is not good at a robot party. <laughs> But Louie and Emo seem to be having fun. I've had a fantastic time at the party with Robo Rock, but I have to roll out now. Until next time, keep the party going. All right, see you later, Louie. What are you guys gonna do without Louie here? Start gripping an item. Oh, no, wait, no, don't grip an item right now. All right, well, since Robo Rock left and Louie left and Emo and me are the only ones here, I'm gonna put Emo back up on the shelf. Let's jump into what I think overall about the Robo Rock vacuum. Back up on the shelf you go. Now that was a super fun robot party. I didn't actually expect the Saros Z70 to be able to talk with my other robots, even though it does take in voice commands. Something I do want to throw out there to the company who sent me this, which shout out to Roborock for sending me this robot to review. It would be really cool if they connected an API to a large language model and had it be able to talk in some sort of mode, which I know sounds kind of ridiculous because the whole point of a robot vacuum is just to clean and do things like that. But I think that it would be really cool if it could also be a little robot friend. And it would also help me out when I'm doing robot parties. Now, as far as pros and cons go, I have a lot more pros than I do cons. Pros, super easy to set up, super good at vacuuming, super good at mopping, super good at remote viewing, and also amazing app design and super easy app to use. Now, the only con that I really found is that this thing is supposed to be able to pick up shoes, paper, socks, washcloths, things like that. But when I put a larger shoe in front of it, it wasn't really able to pick that up. Now, it was able to pick up slippers, but for like one of my skate shoes, it couldn't pick that up. Now I'm gonna keep testing it and as a caveat inside the app, it does say that they are updating constantly and they're gonna be adding new objects for this thing to be able to pick up other stuff around your house. But as oh, you can see, yeah. if you do go into the manual <laughs> mode on it, you can pick up practically anything. It's just with the AI sensors, it is currently only programmed to be able to pick up the items that I just talked about. Now having given you the pros and the cons, there is something that is kind of in a gray area, which is the price. Now the Roborock is typically $2,000 $599. However, currently it's on sale for $1,999, which I have a link down in the description below if you want to go pick it up right now and try it out for yourself. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to Roborock for sending me this to try out and kind of just give my honest opinion on it because I do really think this is something really cool. And I think this is the start of what we're going to be seeing in the future out of a lot of other cleaning robots and just robots helping out around the house. Now, if you enjoyed this robot or you enjoy any of my videos, you know what would be super cool? If you hit that subscribe button, that really, really does help. And then it also notifies you when I make brand new videos, which I do like one to two videos every week. And another way to help out my channel is to hit that thanks button down there. And if you donate through there, almost all of that money goes right back into making videos like this one. More videos, more fun. <laughs> That's right. Speaking of videos, I'm gonna throw a video right up here of something that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna really enjoy from my channel. I've also got a bunch of other links down in the description below, like my Patreon and my sci-fi book that I wrote. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Yes, yes, yes.